To do today's video on Jonathan requires a lot of patience, a lot of understanding by you watching, and I hope I can get through it in 13 minutes. So this is going to be my, my total biography and introduction to a wonderful song and a link sent by me by a friend that said, you've always wanted to see Jonathan in a different light, a more mature setting, a more mature approach and not wearing the cape, that he has a tendency to wear the cape. And just in a different light, you're going to be blown away and sent me Parla Pio Piano, which is one of Italy's most famous songs, as Jonathan will introduce himself, coming from The Godfather. It takes a lot for an outside person like Jonathan to come forward, sing it in Italian and sing it with emotion. But Jonathan is renowned around the world for this and he has staggered people. He's got people standing on their feet. Even after the first song, people can't sit down. They want to stand up and cheer him. And apparently I'm going to be the same once I heard his version of this. So I thought just like Caruso and all the fans of Jonathan that thanked me in hundreds of comments, thanking me for the background, the bio to the song, where it came from, and the translation from, because uh, I do all my videos in 16 languages, because I'm a world channel, a new world channel since January of this year, and I translate it into 16 languages to represent those countries I'm trying to attract to my channel. So anyway, Italian is one of them. And parla più piano, in English, means speak, more softly so there you go everybody a, a song that you all love jonathan singing parla più piano is one of the italian great songs from the godfather movie but also i have done something in my description there are three links the three links is the original version in 1972 i'll tell you about that in a minute and it's sung actually i'll tell you now it's sung by the wonderful Gianni Morandi, who is a famous actor entertainer. And he was born um, in the Tuscan um, Apennines. And his, I'm reading this by the way, so bear with me. His father Renato was an active within the Italian Communist Party and Gianni used to help himself to sell the, the party newspapers. At an early age, Miranda worked as a shoes a shoe shiner, cobbler and a candy vendor in the village's only cinema. But he progressed to be a wonderful singer and in 1972 he released this song that I'm about to, Parla Pew Piano, which you can click onto in the description and it's the original version. Also I was debating, I was saying it to a friend, I've just discovered the most incredible incredible tenor that I have linked his video to this video so you will see during Jonathan's video here a link coming up to the most incredible tenor, tenor since Jonathan and I have Jonas Kaufmann from Germany now I will give you a little bio on Jonas himself as well and he's from Munich an opera tenor renowned for his extraordinary technique, his versatility as a performer of German, French and Italian repertoire, just like Jonathan, and his charismatic projection of a range of emotions, just like Jonathan. And Kaufman was raised in a family of music lovers, but not of professional musicians. I just thought I'd defend Jonathan. Take it away, Jonathan. Parla più piano. Which means... All together now, you've learned one thing today, speak more softly in English. Talk to you after. Now, uh, I would like to explore some of the more kind of classical Italianate repertoire. And we can take a dip into some of the most beautiful Italian songs ever written from the late 1800s to the late 80s. The first is Parla Più Piano, more often known as the Godfather theme. When I recorded this for my album Tenore, we made the decision to include the immigrant theme, which plays at the beginning of the film, the very theme you're hearing right now, setting the scene of the dark world of Don Corleone. Very good. Wow. Parla più piano e nessuno sentirà il 
nostro amore lo viviamo io e te nessuno so la verità neppure il cielo che ci guarderà God, it moved me. It moved me. I'm actually, I'm actually moved. Oh my God! Wow. I don't often react with tears to any of my videos. I just don't. I either dance, go crazy, or. But I have to say, you can see the circles around my eyes from the tiredness. I'm doing so much study on top of different things over the last couple of months. But anyway, back to that interpretation I was moved by Jonas please watch the link in the description but Jonathan you, you my friend was right Giovanni was right oh my god Giovanni you were right he said it would blow my socks off he said if you're not moved he said you have no heartbeat and I do have a heartbeat I am in shock I did not expect I'm sorry to all the Jonathan fans I just didn't and do you know what? Do you know why I'm emotional? Because when you're with somebody from the first time they go on stage, you you go on a journey with them and you're almost like, come on, Jonathan, I know that you can do this. Come on, Jonathan, I know that you can be that person that I see you as. And today I've seen him as that person for many, many years I've wanted him to be. I just can't stop. My God, turn it off. Come on, Lorcan. 
this is not me in a lot, most of my reactions anyway I'm going to uh, continue I'm in shock in a very very good way can I get through the lyrics and do all of this in 13 minutes I don't know because after watching that I'll tell you why I didn't do Le Say. Le Say was a video recommended by many many fans out there and I said oh he's in the cape straight away I was turned off now people have said watch it come on Lorcan you're open minded you're a musical reactor react to it and I said no I want to see Jonathan in my head as Zach Jonathan that is superstar world class whatever you want to call it league and blowing the heads of people because that is what he's about I want to see Jonathan in a, in a new world of confidence about himself I saw it there I want to see him without the cape I saw him there I want to see him delivering a song that is so well known by people in only the way Jonathan can I, I have witnessed it there Giovanni you were so right Jonathan has gone from that little shaky man to this superstar that is now in control of his voice his destiny and deliverance and I applaud you because I've been on the journey with this young man for quite some time now and I'm emotionally moved because I'm it's like relief he's got to the point in my head where I had always seen Jonathan <coughs> now maybe I'll go back now and see Lo C and you know give it a chance because I'm going to find it very hard that the original song by Laura Piscini which is on my channel by the way please look out for her she's a, she's the most famous Italian singer and the most extraordinary voice in pop ballads and rock and she she blew it away when she wrote that song for the film that Sophia Loren starred in um, it's on Netflix by the way so I can only uh, say Jonathan Antoine I don't know if I'm going to get through the lyrics but the lyrics have come up in English but people will deserve a translation so I'm going to have to be very quick now and get over my shock my wonderful wonderful new shock my Jonathan has grown up and I know a lot of people will say you know catch yourself up and I'm starting to get giggling because I'm a bit embarrassed here but um at the same time I'm wonderfully happy to be like this because fantastically grown up was that deliverance oh Jonathan you blow me away oh I can't wait to react to another one now but I promise I won't cry in the next one and when I cry it's do you know what it is it's not even crying it's a sense of relief it's a sense of being almost like having a soul and say well done you you did it that's what I feel like like a proud father to this young man because for far too long people put him down you people that put him down go stuff your words up your and I'm sorry to be like this because too many people have put him in a box and went well how dare you because millions of people now like me will go whoa you just smacked them in the mouth with the biggest fist ever Jonathan with that deliverance that stage presence and that confidence that I've, I've been waiting for well done so translation in English I've got to go through this very fast first one speak more softly and come closer to me I want you to feel you inside my eyes nobody knows the truth not even the sky that's watching us from above speak more softly and no one will hear our love is lived by you and me nobody knows the truth this love is a great one it is the greatest and then the pre-chorus I will stay with you my love always so so it's a beautiful translation of a love song and it's a feeling of almost like a whisper I want to feel you inside my eyes so there's a th there's a thing about you know we all go around when we're in love and we all have an image in our heads and there's an old saying what the eyes see the heart feels and that's what it means about I want to see you inside my I want what I see to be a reality then it goes on to say speak more softly and come closer to me I want to feel you inside my eyes it repeats it nobody knows the truth speak more softly and come closer to me 
I want to feel you inside my eyes. Nobody knows the truth. Not even the sky that's watching us from above. How many times when we're in love have we looked up to the skies and said, I love this person. I wish they could hear me. And it's like a silent prayer to whomever is listening. It's not just to God. It's not just to nature, the sky. It's to whomever spiritually or even the even nature yeah let's say nature is listening come back with that